So this is going to be a reading for my Capricorns. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to go ahead and get straight into the reading. Now, if you're new here, make sure that you do subscribe so that you never miss a beat. Also hit that notification bell so that you um, also can stay updated. And of course, all my personal links to reach me, uh, my booking website, Twitter, Instagram will be listed below. But let's go ahead and get straight into it. Capricorns for May 6th through the 7th. Now, I was supposed to get you guys a reading out for May 5th through the 6th, but this is going to be for May 7th through the 8th instead because I didn't get a chance to get it out to you guys. So you guys are lucky. You guys are getting an extended day. But we have past energy, recent past. We have the Page of Swords. Present energy, we do have the Hierophant. The influence, we do have the eight of coins. The challenge, we do have the knight of coins. Advice, we do have the six of coins. And the outcome, we do have the four of wands. Okay. So let's talk about it. So Capricorns, um, first card, we have recent past. We have the page of swords. So this is you. Hmm. Huh. This is you having a lot of ideas and thoughts and information kind of circling your mind. It may have had you on like a little bit of a high in a sense because you may have had certain things that you were interested in and you were noticing and picking up on and it may have gotten you really intrigued in terms of, wow, I can do this, I can do that. This could be like you getting inspired by seeing something. You're like, oh, I want to move like in that direction. Okay, this could even be an inspiring conversation that you have with someone and it gets you going in terms of, you know, finally opening that business or, you know, investing in stocks or crypto or whatever it may be. Um, also, at the page of swords, there may have been an air sign, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius or just someone. It doesn't have to be that zodiac sign. Fam family, friend, lover, whoever with this energy who may have been acting. Uh, Interesting in terms of the way that they may have been communicating with you, their communication may have been very um, like off, either like not consistent or the communication may have seemed off when communicating with said person. Um, you also may have noticed that someone that you stopped talking to may still be keeping tabs on you, like on your social media or something like that. And they could be like, you know, of course, liking your pictures, trying to make themselves known, or you're just noticing it in terms of like this person not unfollowing you and things like that. Now, what I see here for present energy, we do have the Hierophant. So with the Hierophant, there may be some of you who are in a marriage or a extremely committed relationship. And you could be looking at how you can strengthen it and make it even more. Um, what's the word? Uh, structured. There you go. I don't know why I try to look for a bigger word than that. <laughs> so you're trying to make your relationship more structured in a sense. Um, this could be you realizing that your relationship isn't as strong as it used to be at one point, And that at this point, in order for it to continue to exist, it's going to require you to do some reworking here. Um, some of you are also looking at your personal morals and principles and beliefs in terms of like religion and stuff. And you're also starting to learn that as you grow, your perspectives grow, your understanding grows. So some of you are starting to even evolve from a limited perspective you may have had in the past or even within the same year the same year but this energy looks interesting now when it comes to what i see for the influence for this time frame we have the eight of pinnacles or eight of coins so the influence may be you guys wanting to work certain areas in your life out um so this for instance, in your love life could be you wanting to either work out a relationship or do personal work so that you can attract better relationships. 
Um, others of you in terms of like work, work, like in your career, you could be wanting growth there. And this is like making you have an urge to, again, structure certain areas of your life differently. You guys are just getting inspired to, to change things and make things better. Now, when it comes to what I see for the challenge, we do have the Knight of Coins. So the challenge may be that you feel like things are moving kind of slow. You could be wanting momentum to pick up in terms of like money opportunities or in terms of you and someone actually getting into a serious relationship. It could be taking some time for this person to seriously commit. And this could be bugging you. Okay. Now, hmm. This also could be, like I said, finances and you waiting for that to kind of pick up here. Now, when it comes to advice here, we have the six of coins. So the advice is if you have someone in your life right now currently where you have to constantly feed the connection to get this person to even like respond or even give you any type of attention or this person just seems too disengaged, it may be time for you to, to look at that and maybe consider, okay, is it worth it? Like, do you want to keep giving your energy to someone who's not seeing the effort you're putting in? Also with the six of coins, finances wise as well. If you keep putting energy effort out there, you're not getting what you need back. It's time for you to look at other options for you if possible. Now, what I see here for the outcome, we have the four of wands. So this is you focusing on a sense of stability. <clears throat> this is you also focusing on the home. Some of you may have children and that's like your main focus here. Hmm. You guys are extremely focused as well on like building structure. This may be you also celebrating um, this could be celebrating for Mother's Day or celebrating a birthday. This is usually celebration energy. So that's good. But this is what I see. I hope that you were able to take something from this reading. And um, oh, also another thing I want to say about this card. This is also you focusing on your creativity and how you can make money from it for some of you, like entrepreneurship. But I hope you took something from this video. If you want a personal, check out the information listed in the description box, as well as the comment section. Uh, my Twitter, Instagram will be listed there, and I will see you in the next one.